What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your Shumalier. I'm sure, like a lot of you, sometimes you're sitting around playing on the internet and you get a notification on your phone. It's from the Adidas Confirmed app and it says you get early access to a shoe. So you click and you see it and you think, that looks pretty interesting. The price is right. At the very least, it'd be good for a video. So you buy it, you wait for it, you get it, and you're kind of underwhelmed. And while I'm lucky that that has not happened nearly as much as it could, it has happened today with this particular shoe, which I guess is a shoe. It's kind of a sandal. It's a slip-on. It's a mule, as they say. But regardless of what they call it, it leaves me a little dumbfounded because I'm not really sure what the purpose of this particular shoe is, especially down here in Texas where we've already hit 90 and I can only imagine we're going to hit 100 for the next 90 days, at least. So today, we are going to talk about the 032C Mule in the Savannah colorway. Adidas and 032C, a content platform, think tank, and apparel brand, are back together yet again collaborating on two silhouettes, the GSG Mule and the GSG TR Shoe. The Adidas Originals GSG 9.2 Tactical Boot forms the base for both this Mule and the TR Sneaker. For the Mule, 032C strips away the majority of the boot's design to leave just the base section. In this Savannah colorway, the upper is made from neoprene, featuring three-stripe detailing and a rubberized toe cap. You'll also find a chunky sole unit fitted with a Traxian outsole. Finished in an icy chalk hue, this adiprene equipped sole wears Adidas branding on the heel, 032C branding on the sidewall, and is finished with lugs all around for added traction. The Adidas Original 03TC GSG Mule released on April 22nd, 2021 and retailed for 160 US American dollars. This silhouette is available only via the Adidas Confirmed app. Now, before we get into why this shoe dumbfounds me, let's talk about fit. I am normally a size nine across the board. That's Ultra Boost, Air Force Ones, Jordan Ones, New Balance, Asics, Pumas, etc. I ordered a size nine, which again is my true to size, and I think that this mule fits my foot just fine. As you can see, I wore this shoe without socks because I thought this was kind of a slide, and that's how you would wear this shoe, and I thought it fit my foot just fine. My foot is more of a normal size foot, closer to narrow, definitely not wide. So if you are part of the wide foot gang, Hopefully you can find something similar and try it on and get the size that fits best for me. But as I said before, for me, true to size fits just fine. And when it comes to comfort, this is part of the reason why this shoe confuses me. I wouldn't call this a squishy, bouncy, lifestyle type comfortable shoe. In fact, it's really heavy, heavier than you think a slip on type shoe should be. And I'm sure that's because of the chunky midsole that you find on this silhouette. And yes, the outsole is adiprene, so it is a little bit more comfortable than some of the other technologies out there. But since the foundation of this shoe is a tactical boot, I imagine why number one, it's so heavy, and number two, why it's not terribly comfortable for what I guess is supposed to be somewhat of a lifestyle shoe slash sandal slash slide. And don't get me wrong, I think it's a pretty cool looking shoe. That's why I bought it. I really dig the colorway, that sand beigey colorway mixed with the white, as well as the clear translucent outsole. And then on the inside, you have a very Yeezy 350 version one type half moon on the inside, not made out of suede. This one more in a TPU type material and the perforations or speed holes are in fact fake. They don't breathe. And that leads me to maybe the biggest issue other than why this shoe is so heavy. The shoe doesn't breathe at all. The inside is very thick on that sock liner. There's no perforations. There's no way for air to get in. And if you are wearing this shoe barefoot because it's summer and you want to let your feet breathe, this is not the silhouette for that. I suppose maybe you would wear this with socks. That's a look, that's fine, that's great. But for me, I would get this shoe for the purposes of wearing it as a slide. And I don't think that that's what this shoe is made for. And if that's the case, that's fine. And I'm totally reading this silhouette wrong. And maybe it just really wasn't for me. But if the purposes were to wear this for a sock, if this was supposed to be like a hiking mule or something like that, I think I would actually go for a silhouette that actually had the higher area, not a high, but still a low, not necessarily what they call a mule. Now, I will say that even though I don't particularly like this shoe, and even though I'm gonna send it back to Adidas and get my money back, 
I did already buy a second colorway of a mule, not a collab, but it's a variation on an old Adidas favorite. That one looks more like a tennis shoe and I would be very interested to see if it feels the same way, if it's as heavy, maybe it breathes better, or maybe I actually will wear a sock when wearing that particular colorway. So stay tuned because when that shoe arrives, I will be giving a review and we'll see how it compares to this 032C GSG mule. So there you have it, my thoughts on the Adidas Originals 032C GSG Mule in the Savannah colorway. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think about this colorway in silhouette. Would you wear it with socks? Am I totally misunderstanding the purpose of this shoe? Should it be just like a tennis shoe? And the fact that it's kind of a slide looking shoe just confuses me and that's not really it. I'm curious, explain it to me, those of you that rock these shoes, maybe I just don't really get it. And that's okay, that's okay. That's. That's why we have opinions. That's why we have so many shoes because sometimes you feel like wearing this one, sometimes you feel like wearing that one, and sometimes you're just like, I'm not really gonna wear that shoe. I'd be really interested to hear what you think in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Just Chill till the next episode.